You're listening to Walsh Weekly here on Rage Lab 97.1 FM, uh, broadcasting from Luton, United Kingdom to the world. Now, my next guest is quite simply Australia's leading celebrity organ salesman. Uh, during lockdown, he has entertained not only Australia, but surely the world. You have got to hear about this bloke because he brings light to any sort of room and he's certainly the best organ player you'll ever hear. Give it up for Stephen Bickle, better known as Mr. Barry Morgan's World of Organs. Barry, how are you? Uh, I am very well, Luke. My goodness, yes, it's me, Barry Morgan, in the Australian bush. I must say, Luke, it is my favourite kind of bush, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm very excited to be here and I'm excited that we've got the new studio all up and running with more technology than my dear departed mother, Nancy Morgan, could ever hope for. I mean, when I first saw one of your videos online, I thought I needed to get you on my show yes. because there is no other person like you. And what you do with Aurora, the, the, the organ, uh, and, and the show you put on, my first question is, where, where did it all begin for Barry Morgan? Oh, my goodness. Well, it was um, when I first heard an organ coming out of the um, theatre pipes of the local church in the suburbs of Adelaide, which is South Australia, uh, which is a little bit in lockdown at the moment, my goodness. So, um, yes, I just heard those dulcimer tones of the long pipes, the 16, the 32 and the 64, and I was hooked. And ever since then, I've just been, you know, like most young, you know, uh, healthy males, just, you know, fascinated playing with organs. And, right and from not, the start. <laughs> and not only do you have any old organ, you have the Aurora Hammond organ. I was, I was doing my research uh, uh, just before we, we, we spoke. These aren't cheap. Uh, I, I've seen them going from a, a range of 2,000 to at least 15, 20,000 uh, Australian and you know, American dollars. They, they, it's a pretty expensive bit of kit. My goodness, in the day when Aurora, now your viewers can't see, but I am showing you some lovely video here, Luke, which you're seeing on this Zoom call mm. from the United Kingdom to um, the Australian bush. Um, the lovely Aurora was made around 1980. My goodness, I bet you don't even remember that year, do you, Luke? <laughs> you don't remember a bit about it, do you? I wasn't hey, even being I don't, about being conceived. That's how, that's I, how long ago it was. I'm not going to ask you what substances you were on because you don't remember it, I know. 1980, in the day of 1980, my goodness, these things were retailing for the equivalent of a house in the suburbs of uh, Adelaide. So it was ridiculous. But look, um, yeah, these days, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're a little bit too large. Everyone's got them on a laptop. Mm. So I'm very excited to, you know, bring you the original. I mean, this is teak veneer, quality teak veneer chipboard like mm. you would not believe. And um, I don't know if you have hard rubbish in the UK, but here in Australia, we have hard rubbish. And it does break my heart because I do see some people have given up on their organs and they've chucked them in the street for hard rubbish to take away. And I'm saying, please shoppers, do not give up on your organ. Well, I, I think organ is, is one of those, those instruments where it's not just a piano. It's not just a synthesizer. It's a full-on organ. And, you know, what you bring to the world of organs is, you know, new life and new energy that has been demanding out of organs, I think, for a very, very long time. Because even when, you, when you're at school, you're learning about the organ, you, you know, you're, you're not enthused. So I, I urge, you know, I've told everyone who, who I've seen these, these videos, I said, look, you need to see this guy. You know, you, you need to be teaching the world about the, the, the Marty organ. Well, this is what we're trying to do. This is why um, we've been uh, getting set up in this wonderful little, uh, you know, studio here in the Australian bush. I'm giving you some lovely images, as you can see there, as I'm whisking my fingers, warming up to put a boss and over on. Because in the end, we have to let the organ speak for herself. There she is. See, it's like a DJ machine. Yeah. That was just one finger on one button and away we go. All right, now I can do another finger on another button and I'll get a little bit more of a way we go. Check this out. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, now we're grooving. And now we're going to bring in a little bass, just like we do with the DJ. Ah, oh, we're getting good now. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 
Ah, and a bit of strings. And before you know it, we're just hands free and having a lot of fun. Ah. Okay, we're gonna. Now we're gonna bring in some extra beats. Let's just bring over to the other cam. Yeah. I mean, you know what, how it. about that? that We've was, had a bit of excitement. Something else. Oh. It, even when you're 11 oh. hours oh. and halfway across the world, you are put on, on a show and a half. I mean, it's, it's, it's truly extraordinary. Well, it's a lot of fun. We've got, you know, we've got all the rhythms. The thing that you were saying about the organ before, Luke, is that it is actually, it is the full orchestra. Mm. I mean, it's got all of it. I mean, have a listen to this oboe. I mean, my goodness, how expressive is that? It's, it's pretty you know? damn amazing. Let's uh, have a listen to this. I mean, this is like close your eyes and you could be listening to a Steinway. Incredible. <laughs> oh, my Incredible. goodness. Incredible. So in some... In some ways, it's, um, I mean, you know, there we've got back to the rock. I'll just put that on in the background so we can talk a bit and we'll just get ourselves set up. There are. So there we are. The home um, organ is a lot of fun. It's the original DJ machine. Exactly. Exactly. It was, it was, it was DJing long before uh, anyone was doing it. And of course, let's come on to your career because it all started off for you on an Australian show called Spricks and Specs. I urge everyone to go check it out on YouTube. It certainly launched the career of Adam Hills, who's now doing the last leg on Channel 4. Um, what was that like for you to, to go on there and to, to show the world what you can do? I know. Wouldn't that be so fun to reconnect with Adam? We had so much fun on that television show. Oh, looks like my internet connection's having a little trouble. Can you still hear me there? I can still hear you, yes. Um, so... That's good. Well, we had um, we had a lovely time on um, the uh, Spicks and Specs. Yes, yeah, so check out that on the YouTube. I think it's up there on the interwebs. I'm getting a little bit more modern. I feel as modern as tomorrow now that I'm talking to a young Luke like you. Um, and, of course, you know, um, the, it, it was a lot of fun being on that television show, but I actually have been on the BBC too, believe it or not. Yes. All those years ago, I went to the Edinburgh Festival and I got involved. I think I went on at 4 o'clock in the morning or something where all mm. the stars go. <laughs> um, but there has been a little bit of a murmur um, for a little bit more organ magic in the UK. Mm. Um, this uh, little interview, this interview with you and also some other podcasts. So I'm really happy to be, um, in some ways, I've found it quite exciting to, um, to be locked in the organ room through this um, uh, pandemic um, mm. and getting the uh, set all set up with the cameras and all the equipment so that we could start streaming on a more regular basis mm. uh, around the world. And that's yeah. the great thing about the internet, that we're able to sort of, we're able to do that, Luke. <laughs> and, and you need to start conquering the, this world with, with the, the mighty organ, that is for sure. Um, it, I was literally going to come on to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, your appearance there, I think it was 2011, 2012. Um, it's, it's yes. certainly one thing for, for, for any of us from the United Kingdom to go over to Australia. What was it like for you to go over to Edinburgh for a month? Well, it was, a, it was a long way, let me tell you. My goodness. And Aurora travelled quite well on the ship. It took her about three months. It was like going on the tour with the royal family. And actually, if they're out there somewhere listening, hello to the royal family. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, to all the punk rockers too. Why not keep everyone happy? No, I had a great time over there in Edinburgh. It was, um, it was a bit of a... Um, uh, a little bit of a shock to the system initially. I wish I'd had the opportunity to get to, um, uh, you know, to London and some other places over there. There's some, I know there's a lot of organ clubs in the day over in that, uh, in the UK. So maybe, 
who knows what will happen in the future. Let's build an audience over there online. Mm. Um, and uh, who knows, we might even reconnect with the gorgeous Adam Hills who's doing the last leg and see if we can put a bit of organ on that show again. <laughs> oh, well, I, the, the, the amount I'd pay to see that, that, that is for sure. I mean, wh whenever you say the words um, Australian and musical comedy in the United Kingdom, there's only one man that comes to, to, to mind, is that's Mr. Timothy Minchin. Uh, Tim Minchin being you know, the huge sensation he's been in the last 10 or 15 years. What's, what's been your thoughts on Tim Minchin? Oh, fantastic. What a talent. He can play the piano like a demon. He can write lyrics that make you laugh until your guts split. Um, you know, and he's, uh, he's, he's, he's got some, you know, he's very, very, very talented. I haven't actually met Tim. Um, I've been close a couple of times. Uh, unfortunately for me, when um, I got back from Edinburgh, I got a little bit, uh, I wasn't too well there for a couple of years. So we, um, that sort of slowed down my trajectory and I was looking forward to going back over to the UK. But yeah, Tim's amazing. What a talent and a great Australian export. So but someday or other, I hope that I can um, share a shoulder, which is the new handshake uh, <laughs> with Tim, uh, possibly uh, down under here in Australia or over there in the UK. I mean, goodness, he's all over the world. Um, mm. uh, so, yeah, very successful, you know. I'd like to see some sort of collaboration with you and Tim and certainly to see him try out an organ and you to try out a piano and, and, and see what, what is, is born out of that. I think that would be sensational. Well, it could be a lot of fun, Luke, because I also do play the devil's backpack, which is the <laughs> piano accordion. So who knows? Once somewhere along the line, we might end up doing a, uh, you know, Barry could um, bring the devil's backpack because I tell you what, it's a lot of gear, as I've shown you around the studio today mm. uh, on the cameras there. Um, it's a lot of equipment. There we go. We can have a bit of a look around for your, um, for your viewers, anyone. I'm not, not too sure if you share any of that on the... Um, on the Facebook. Um, oh, look, there's Cardboard Barry. Oh. Have you met Cardboard Barry before, Luke? No, yeah, but I'm glad I have now. Hello. I want one in my living room. Now, there, you, now, there you go. Now, Cardboard Barry, say hello to Luke. <laughs> he, he doesn't say much. I'm sorry, Luke. <laughs> and of course, um, you've met Cooker yes. before. Yes, wonderful say, Cooker. This is Cooker. Say hello to Cooker. Coo -coo 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 -coo. Oh, he likes you. And of course, here's the ashes to my dear departed mother, Nancy Morgan. She never misses the show, bless her heart. Oh, look, there's one of my, you know, like my sneaky merchandise. Look at that yeah. lovely mug. And of course, the lovely Leslie rotating speaker. Isn't mm. she just a divine? And we look over here, we've got all sorts of gadgets. We should tell some shoppers what, your audio shoppers, what we've got on the shelf. Yes, please, please do expand. Well, my goodness, the first thing we start out, we've got some very custom-made Barry Morgan stickers for the back of your Saab. My goodness. Um, and, um, of course, I've got the lovely cassette player. Mm. I love a few cassettes. There's a lovely play card organ here. Look, there's a manual uh, vacuum cleaner, as you can see there. And um, one of my favourite books, which I've been doing quite a lot of reading out of lately, is um, the... Uh, which would be interesting for you to check out, yes? Yes, definitely for sure. Uh, that, that, that is. Could we read out this book to your shoppers? What, what, what? You tell them what you're seeing there. Now, I, I mean, they, they can see for themselves. Is is a? It's it's about how to make love. That's the, the polite way of putting it. And, well, it's uh, how to do sex properly, <laughs> in, including living with acne, uh, and featuring how to kiss right. Plus, are you normal? So there you go. Just These are the things that we've got. Oh, look, I've got my walking kit here, just in case I decide to do some walking um, out in the bush. Um, that's some, some band-aids. And of course, over here in Australia, we still listen on cassette to the romance tracks. When I'm feeling a little flat, I put on Jason Donovan and away I go. Everyone's favorite commercial so radio DJ. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and look down here, look down here, Luke. We've got some lovely, um, we've got the new uh, costumes for Christmas. Mm. Look at those little shorts. Yes, hey? it's, it's, it's incredible. Have, your, have, your, have yourself a Barry little Christmas. That, that, Let that's Barry it. put that something extra. Let Barry put that something extra in Santa Claus's sack for you. <laughs> I, I mean, I there guess. There we are, we're back. The, the equipment is one thing, and the organ you know, being the, the heart of it, but your outfits are on us and second to none. They are, they're extraordinary. Oh, thank you very much. I do like, 
I do like the safari. I mean, I'm the patron saint of the safari suit. I do you love are. a safari suit. And, uh, and another thing that you are a patron saint of, I guess the patent holder of, is the one finger method. Uh, and you, yeah, we talk, talked about earlier on about how the organ can become any sort of instrument in, in, a, in a touch of a button. Um, That's you know, right. To, 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 yeah, for anyone who wants to get into the organ playing, is, is, that, the, is that the key to, to, to being a, an organ master like yourself? Well, this is very safe and very simple. You can see there, I've changed over to the side camera. Mm. I can choose the one finger for beginner's setting. I get ready. Now, we could do this together with your listeners. Come on, Luke, they'll allow any finger will do. It's entirely up to you, that's it. Get Now, you a big smile and you have to go touch, release, right. smile. Right. Here we go and we're gonna do it together and touch. Right. Release, smile. Here we go. And touch, release, smile. Touch, release, smile. Of course, and touch, release, smile. And there you go. Beautiful instant music. Get the deep cut. Ah. My goodness, Frank Zappa's just coming to the room. <laughs> It's a little bit groovy, right? Here we go. Let's try this go. Ah. Now you picked the track, have you? One of the Australian anthems. They love it. Here we go. You can't get more Australian than that than Waltz and Matilda, I tell you. That is... Just, I'm, I'm lost for words by you, Barry. You are, you are energy and then some. Well, you know, it is that time for, you know, on the yes, organ. Look, there yes, you yes, go. another wonderful this plug is the of your organ, organ lesson. Organ book, yes. This is the, this is the beautiful organ players. Yes, the big note. My goodness. Look, they've got the names of the notes in the songs. Mm. There we go, the complete organ player songbook. And um, it's something to do with Christmas, I suppose, at some point, isn't it, really? It would make a, an interesting uh, Christmas present, that's for sure, especially, and I suppose it comes on nicely to you know, the lockdown that uh, the world has been through the past eight or nine months. I mean, you've been doing some, some wonderful shows online. You know, what, what has that been like for you to take your show, to sort of minimise it into, into your studio, but then maximise it to, to your coverage across the world? Well, it's been, I mean, quite exciting, really. I'm, I'm sort of, this is the, well, this one here with these cameras that we've got, and, you know, I know this is um, going out to radio, but, you know, I'm very excited that we've got all, you're seeing them there, all this switching that we've set up. So we can do um, this, uh, and let's just get that one looking at my feet. Look, look, we could do a foot solo for you here. Oh, look at that. Um, look at those legs, my goodness, pins, Uncle Barry. Um, <laughs> It's been exciting to, in some ways. I mean, we've got to take the, I suppose we do have to take as much positive as we can from everything that happens to us mm. um, and just sort of keep moving forward. And I think that's what I do uh, enjoy very much about the arts community. I think that they um, have an ability. Oh, look, there we go. There's Uncle Barry's face there and some feet work. If I show you that. Oh, there you go. Look, there, there we go. Ah. Uh, um, it's, uh, it's been a challenge to not go out and do live shows. Normally I travel around the countryside when I'm not selling organs in my world of organs superstore. Um, but, uh, so it's been a challenge, 
but I'm excited about the possibility of continuing to do this more online. Um, I'm, and I'm looking at the time frame, um, and I'm uh, thinking that maybe I should do a little breakfast show to London, which would be evening time here in Australia. Mm. So obviously my fans here in Australia could tune in at, um, if it's eight o'clock here in, um, in South Australia, what time is it over there? I'd make that about, uh, oh, do a quick calculation. I'd make that about nine o'clock. Uh, uh, okay, uh, in the morning. Uh, in the evening. In the morning. Oh, no, no, if I did it in the evening here. Oh, I, I, if I did it in the I evening see. here. I what, see. What? I, I'd need to yeah. mark that. And then I could do a morning show to you guys. Look at that. Yes, oh, there's I, the lens. I, I see what there's you mean. Beautiful Aurora. I see what you mean. Yeah, so that would be that. So I like I like the idea um, that we've adapted to being online a little bit more. And it's interesting you keep saying, "Oh, you've been doing great things online." I feel like we haven't really done enough. Yeah, it's um, true. It's, we've it, had a lot of you know, a lot of issues with you know. We, we wish we could have been doing more videos, but now I, I'm hoping that this will um, change now that we've got this new studio, this uh, mm -hmm. or the organ room version three, ready to roll. Yes, which you uh, are seeing for the first time, Lukey boy. I, I feel very honoured. I feel very honoured in, indeed. Um, I guess it, it's so difficult to say, and you, and you said it quite rightly about the, the global arts community taking such a hit and being be able to support one another um, through through this crisis. And I think, you know, as we sort of come into 2021, of course, obviously Australia and New Zealand um, are in a better shape with coronavirus than, than we are in the United Kingdom. Um, do you think you'll be performing in the next six months or so? Well, um, I mean, there, there, there are um, a few little offers to do uh, gigs around the countryside at the moment. And there's always a bit of interest to have Barry go somewhere. But I'm uh, slightly, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling OK to be settled into the organ room. Mm. Lockdown has suited me reasonably well to, um, you know, that's what I love about the arts. Um, music, it's such a special thing to be doing. And when there was the, you know, we, like you have to stay at home. Well, you know, a lot of artists and musicians are very lucky that they've got plenty to do at home. Mm. Um, so in some ways we've taken a hit financially, but um, I think as far as mental health goes, and you know, I'm sure there's been a lot of challenges for a lot of people, but um, I think we've got stuff to do, which is really important to keep yourself busy, you know, uh, hobbies for, for people that may have a day job that's yeah. having hobbies, you know. Um, I, I, I'm concerned about trying to book too much to go anywhere uh, in the next six months because, you know, the states and territories here, the borders um, can um, can change very quickly, as we've just seen in the last 24 hours um, uh, with the South Australian borders. Yeah. Um, there's been a, you know, a bit of an out, out, out. So I think it's a challenge to try and see what we can create online. Yeah. Don't worry, I can be in the privacy and comfort of your lounge room, Luke. You can be settled back with your dearest friend, a little cab pari and a cheese and meat platter, or it could be, you know, tofu meat if that's the way you roll. And you can settle in with Uncle Barry on the couch and a little bit of organ magic. That, that is for sure. And it is certainly like, well, and, and again, it'll uplift people. Uh, and certainly, hey, you take up a hobby, there's nothing better than to learn the organ. I guess, Barry, I could talk to you for hours on end, and I'm sure we'll, we'll go back and forth, you know, uh, even after this recording is, you know, would you like to come over to the UK and, and, and do a tour? Is, is that on the, on the oh, bucket list today? Let's do it. That is on the bucket list. And I'm trying to get a bit of a Christmas vibe for you here. Check out this, yeah? Incredible, incredible. Forget Santa Claus has come down. Barry Morgan deserves to ride the rail because 
There, there is no one else quite like Barry Morgan in this world. Yeah. A lot of fun. I could just do it all day long. Yeah, sure you could. But, but I must slow down. My goodness. <laughs> it's been great talking to you, Luke. Uh, it's been amazing talking to you. And do you know what? There's, there's nothing else I want more than Christmas than, than maybe even free merchandise uh, making its way over the, uh, the waters and uh, uh, getting that sorted out. Because Barry Morgan, you need to be seen by the world. I urge everyone to go check him out on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram and Twitter, because he is a gift to us all. And he needs to be seen by every single eyes and ears that is that is that is on every person because he's a, a delight to us all and he's certainly needs to be going bigger and better the next couple of years it's been a delight talking to you there's been no other interview i've done in the four years of this show like, like it. it's been an honor and a privilege thank you very much indeed well i'm interested to see how it comes out and see uh, what 